towards Infinity Edge. Also, I'm maxing Q again. Bot lane is winning. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Normally, I want to put at the beginning of the clip a feature of me, but, but that was so cool to see. I won't even put my kills. I am 5-1. I don't done a lot of solo kills, but I want to put that at the beginning of the videos. Oh my god. That was so... Ah, uh, satisfying, man. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat, and today we're going to do a Tristana mid guide and we're going to try to talk about everything that is required for you to play this champion in normal games and in ranks. Obviously, that's the order that you're going to want to play her. Now, I'm against a Corky on mid lane. I am generally doing this kind of videos because I like to showcase people that even non non uh, mid picks work on mid so generally uh, generally Tristana is played on bot lane I did a zillion video generally zillion is played the support you can see them also in mid lane and I like to make this kind of videos I will also make Tulia mid bot support probably somewhere and jungle videos in the next videos and let's talk about everything that you need to know about Tristana now um, this champion has enough kill potential at level 2 and 3 to destroy pretty much most mid laners if you are careful. Against some assassins or some champions that I like to play such as Pantheon or Nocturne, you shouldn't jump at level 2 on them or 3 because they might murder you. But you can still kill them if you are careful. For summoner spells you'd like to play with Ignite. For uh, runes or exhaust here, for runes you'd like to play with Prezi Attack, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Cup the Grace, Demolish, Bone Plating and these rune stats. These are pretty much the best runes that you can get for mid. Also you'd probably want to max your E first, then Q, then W. Also you'd want to get E first, then W at level 2, but you don't really want to max E unless you want to push. So I'm not having any ability here. Also you want to keep your W, your jump, your W is the jump, so that you can escape level 2 ganks if, the, if it's the case. So, I want here to auto attack this as fast as I can, and I want at level 3 to generally engage. Uh, your passive basically increases your range with every level, your Q increases your attack speed, your W is a jump that resets on kills, assists, or E procs. Your E is a bomb that you proc with auto attacks, and I am getting pushed in here, it's cool, it's not a problem. I am going to jump on him soon, and we're not going to care much about it. And let's just do so in a second. Now it's level 2, I can just put the bomb, I can W and do some auto attacks and I want the trade, as you can see that. And he will heal up, he will probably heal up, but the next trade we're doing, we're going to try to go for the kill. Since, um, since we have enough kill potential at the next bomb, we can actually do a double W. So we're gonna proc the bomb on him, he's not going to have, I hope so, he's not going to have yet his W and we're going to try to get him. And I'm going to put a word here somewhere. Also your ultimate, it's your uh, kill tool basically and I'm gonna do this again. Okay, I have my W back now, I could jump again and try to get the kill but as you can see I'm not really winning if he W's away but I can get the kill, ah never mind I need to back off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm back off. I'm, I'm backing off, I'm getting another door and I'm going to try to go full retard, uh, sorry for the word, until I'm getting, uh, until I'm getting the kill on him. Oops, not this. So, let's talk a little about builds as well. He's having teleport by the way, he should use it to back off and to come back to mid, but generally I will have advantage here, because I have two Dorans regardless of what he plays with. He's playing with Time Warp Tonic and that's why... Can you... Oh my god, this guy, Ah. Oh. I love you, man. I love you. I'm having the chat there because I don't want to be focused on the chat. Also, I don't want to see flame. And I can I can actually put it up. Wait. Oh, you need to help him. I will put it up after. Okay, never mind. So, we're here right now. We're going for... We're going this game for... I'm going to lose that. For Blade of the Ring King. We're moving towards attack speed boots. We're moving towards Infinity Edge. And then probably some uh, attack speed items such as Phantom Dance or RFC. Those items help us have enough burst to actually win every trade. Now Corky is a matchup that can escape you. Generally matchups such as mages that don't have dashes are more simple or even assassin matchups such as a Katarina or Leon such as... Uh, I don't want to say Fizz because he might kill you but you can get the point. Now here I can jump because I have enough of everything and I can jump again 
we get the kill, we jump out, see? He flashed out. I'm gonna track the chat as I said. I generally have it disabled, but it's not a problem. I have still flash, but I really ah, I really wanted to push before he comes. I still can do so though. Okay, let me just I can I can uh, just take these and this and move away. Okay. So let's just put this up. I, I don't even know if I have it enabled. I wrote I love you as you can see there. Alright, so let's go for some uh, in some sustain because we're against Corky that heals a lot and he has both fleet footwork and corrupting potion and we are having uh, Vampiric Scepters because we want to go for our first item, build water cutlass. Generally you need to also get boots and a vision ward. Also we're going for this because the slow also helps us against uh, proking, on proking this E and the slow also helps us catching people and we, it's also good against tanks but this is not the context of the game uh, they have lots of fields by the way so maybe uh, I'm a dumb person I'm such a dumb person maybe we'd want to get um, executioner in in them because all of them have heals so he has heals Ezreal has heals Karma can heal with Athenis Vladimir lots of heals Kane lots of heals so that item executioner might be worth and as you can see, I used my Q when I wanted to farm under tower. You shouldn't be afraid to do so because your Q, as far as I know, as you can see here, has no mana cost. And you should max E and then Q. I hope I don't max Q by accident. Uh, I max W by accident. But you should max E, then Q. That's the general order you'd want. And you should generally try to go for the kill when you have enough room to do so and when you're pretty much sure you're not going to die to ganks. Okay, we're seeing Kain. I'm gonna lose minions probably here. What? I think I lagged there a bit because... Or I misclicked, I don't know. Okay, you also maybe want to instantly kill the enemy jungler when you have the opportunity to do so like now. I'm also putting the vision word here. And I think I'm getting this. But there is a chance the enemy bot lane might come. I want to pass this to Lysine. Because he, he was actually a nice person and helped me there. And we we want to re reciprocate that. We want to be nice back. I lost only one CS. If I lose this, it's bad, but I won't. So we're going to do just fine. I'm going to lose more CS here because of my poor management in this. Generally, on Tristana, it's pretty tricky to play around her E. Because sometimes, and this even a pro player might tell you, I'm pretty sure, sometimes you're going to screw up your farm with this passive. And you're going to lose minions because of it. Also because I'm against Corky, I should ping my team whenever he has the package. It's the global sound that you can hear uh, exactly after he picks it up. So the, I don't know, apocalypse bombs sound. I don't know how to. Also I'm having a word here which I want to put it back. I know I'm pretty safe. Also Corky goes for tier, scaling build as, as Ezreal, as they should. But this gives me a lot of room for kills so when I have cutlass I'll be able to actually be way more efficient than this I'm gonna auto attack this I miss that I miss a lot of CS it's fine it's fine to miss CS but with practice you're going to get over that as well I'm gonna deep ward here as long as I'm getting kills I don't care if I'm ahead in farm or behind if I'm getting the, the XP difference so I'm jumping here I know he has no flash so I can just alt instant kill flash Everything that was required. I maybe could have killed him without flashing, but I've also seen Kane there. You also seen it It was that shadow that little shadow of him and you can see he's on mid now Let's get No, 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 no. Whew. Okay, and we we're pretty much sure that Kane might go now for this and You can do this thing this combo that I'm doing with every single against every single champion if you're careful Look Corky has a big dash Corky has a big dash, but still you can get the kill. Now, I've seen that he has the package, so I won't fight him, because if you... Okay. He might jump. If he jumps on me with the W, with the empowered W, I'll just W away. If he hits you with the empowered W, he will proc 2 seconds of burn on you, and if you stay in it, you're going to get like 100 damage for each second. So you gotta be careful on against Corky. And... We are not really winning, are we? 
I'm gonna push real quick this one. Corky will waste his package now. He went both sides. He, you can see he used it on wolves. It's fine. I'm also having demolish, but I haven't had time to proc it because Kane come, came. Sorry. But I can soon recall. I'm gonna cast here to a bomb to actually to actually push faster. You can see how fast Tristana can push, just with two abilities, so to say. Okay, I missed that. I'm gonna auto attack him here, and I'm gonna cast this here on the tower. I'm gonna get the plate, then I'm gonna instantly back out. You can see also the damage that I've done on him. That's a lot of damage for <laughs> for a <laughs> spell. And also I got the plate here, and we're moving. We're moving towards the. Uh, our first item spike. I'm not gonna get boots first because if I have money when I recall for Blade of the Red King that gives me a huge power spike and it's quite better to do so. If you don't get boots you're going to be caught by people but if you keep your W properly you're not going to struggle that much. Also I have in 45 seconds ignite. Whenever I'm against teleport I try to fight whenever I have it up. So right now I can just push as you can see and I'm going to do another I'm going to do another plate here, even though I could probably help this guy. I'm not even sure he's going to be found. I, I really want... Yeah, Kane actually backed off. I really want another plate here. And where is my demolish? I think it's on cooldown. Am I dumb? Am I not understanding anything? I, yeah, it's, I think it's on cooldown. Oh, cooldown? Well, I'm... I'm not, I'm not understanding what I'm doing wrong. I will probably... It's probably something basic. Uh, I'm not going to recall yet because he's heavily pushing. He's having tabbies as you can see because you're full AD. So whenever you're picking Tristana... I am a retard... Ah, I'm not going to say that anymore. Whenever you're picking Tristana you should be careful of that. And you shouldn't miss so much. Yes, Jesus. So I'm thinking that he misses because he takes this. And he might go somewhere else. I have enough gold for Blade of the Red King and also for Boots. And also for a vision ward, I'm not getting pots now. I'm not getting any pot because I already have Blade of the Red King. And he has, I know he has flash. So whenever I'll engage on him, he'll probably W flash away. And whenever you pick Tristana mid, you should be careful so that you don't... Uh, well, we're not full AP, I'm dumb. Uh, whenever you pick Tristana mid, you should be careful so that you're not full AD. In this context, I forgot that my... Um, my ADC picked Xerath, and even though I have a uh, Lux support, I don't really consider her a heavy mage because when you are support, you're not going to be unless you're fed, you're not going to be that. How can I say that AP? So you have four AD and one support AP unless he's a Velcos or a Xerath maybe. But in this context, we also have an ADC that's Xerath, so it's fine. Okay, we're we're winning this, and Vladimir should back off. Okay, I got you. Full combo. Bottling also won. Going back to mid. I'm gonna ping him to take this. We got Drake. We're winning everything. And I can't get, get this. Yes. I can't get this. But whenever you don't want to miss this, you can just put the bomb. And I'm gonna ping that Corky is missing. You can put that bomb there. And you can heavily push with it. And I have red buff now. That's quite a strong thing. On Tristana, I'm gonna just auto attack them like that. I know they're going to die. I think I can pop one more plate here. Okay, and we also get this right. So we're auto attacking as fast as we can. And I'm going to jump out. I still won't get killed. Okay, he's, he's in trouble. Okay. I need to flash out here. Actually, I don't. I'm still escaping this. Unless he flashes. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We did. We did our best. But I think we're even winning this. Okay, one more auto attack. Good job. So we, we won the trade. I'm getting here. Uh, I think I'm getting. Yeah, this item. And I'm starting to build towards uh, towards Infinity Edge. Also, I'm maxing Q again. Botlane is winning. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Normally I want to put at the beginning of the clip a feature of me, but but that was so cool to see. I won't even put my kills. I am 5-1. I don't done a lot of solo kills, but I want to put that at the beginning of the videos. Oh my god. That was so uh, satisfying, man. The double flash, the instant kill, kills. All right, all right, all right, all right. That that. And also, uh, I'm speaking a lot uh, about. I'm speaking a lot about missing CS because I had some negative comments about, oh my god, you're so bad, you're missing CS. But if you look at every single game everywhere, you're not going to see perfect farm unless you are challenger. Or even then, you're going to see a lot of players missing CS. And having 120 CS is not really bad when you're 5-1 and you have a lot of kills and such. I'm gonna put the word here. Whenever you get a vision word, guys, I always do this mistake, you shouldn't do it. Whenever you get a vision word, put it before you actually get to lane if you can. Because Why? Because whenever you, you put it after he sees you have one, then the enemy is going to think, ah, he certainly put it somewhere. Well, where did he go? And I'm missing CS again, not a problem. Also, I'm going to, I'm going to actually put the vision word in the bar, uh, Drake pit, sorry. Because we want to be sure that, okay. Well, I'm just gonna jump. Ah, I'm an idiot. Why did I jump here? Why did I jump here? Why did I jump here? I I don't know. I really misthought that that was going to be the. Well, we steal it. We don't steal it. I really thought that was going to be Lux. I don't know why I thought. Oh my God, it's Lux. I'm jumping. No, that's my mistake. It's fine. It's fine. And. Uh, it's fine, I'm going back to lane, I'm not going to do dumb stuff like this, I could have just jumped here, with the cane on me, that's what's what should I've done, I could have get the kill also on cane, you've seen I almost instantly murdered him, it's fine, it's fine, we want to get the tower on mid, we want to help others as much as we can, and this guy should back off, I mean, you're not gonna kill Vladimir, He's also not gonna catch you, most probably. <laughs> oh my god, that investment. Alright, so I'm going to put E on the cannon. I'm gonna push as fast as I can. Right here. And I'm gonna do this. And then I'm moving towards... Actually, I'm moving towards the tower. I can W away if Kane comes. And I just, just, let's just secure this tower. Got the tower here. We got the farm on mid. It's fine the fact that we lost Drake. Not that bad, not that bad. I mean, it's not okay either. It, I int it there. I admit it. But you can also get the point that every single player that's higher elo than you is not perfect. And you're going to see these kind of mistakes on every single pro player. Or okay, let me just. I'm I'm coming, but I don't know. I don't know if I can still help you. Okay, that changes stuff. That changes a lot, because now I can just jump on Vladimir, and boom. Can you explode already? Should have auto-attacked one more time. Is there a chance for you to push him towards me? Or just to murder him instantly? Well, uh, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wow, okay, we got him. I have my W in two seconds. I'm gonna jump on that. I got her. It's fine. Israel. I think Israel into the. We got this. We won this. By any means, we were at an advantage the moment that. Yeah, okay. As you can see, we won that. And mainly not because of me, but I got away their shield spammer, and that actually conveyed some space for us to move around. Now I could sell a Doran, I could sell a Doran and get instant infinity edge, but I'm looking if it's a requirement for me to do so. Because I could just go to a side lane now and try to push. Whenever you're getting in the mid game, 
whenever you're getting towards that, you could move towards silence because at this point when you have infinity edge and you have like, let's say you have 10 CS per minute, right? At that point, no one can really one versus one you unless they are, what? Unless they are a heavy mage, which is fed or a, maybe a fed bruiser, but then still you can W away, you can ultimate away. I didn't see that they're recalling. I'm going back to this. Maybe listen can do a play here. All right. They're still dying, buddy. I casted flash there. Maybe shouldn't. But we got the kill. And now we have Infinity Edge. I We can get the tower on mid. Okay. Let's get this tower. Maybe Ezreal has to... I could I could go bot, but Ezreal has to clear. And he unless he uses ult here, he won't really be able to. So we can... We can take this and now I understand why I didn't proc demolish because I generally don't play with it. And now I can move towards bot. Okay. If he hit that I would have jumped. Just gonna cast here and going bot. I'm gonna get this. Also, Corky has package. They should be careful. We lost tower, but we gained this tower, and this one was kinda supposed to fall at a certain point because it had low HP. <laughs> and me not proccing demolish is actually quite stupid sometimes because I wasn't in range, and I'm not sure it says the range on Demolish, it doesn't. And that's quite counterintuitive, even for someone... I, I don't generally play with Demolish unless I play this champion, so... You gotta understand, I didn't even hit the tower that much. I can move here, and I know they are around here, but I don't know if they worded it, but I don't care. I don't care because... okay, that's not cool. I can W away, but I'm gonna need some help here. I know they aren't really close to finishing it, because I've seen their... Okay, Corky can definitely do some damage with that package, so we should just try to steal and back off. Nice! Nice, 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 nice! And Corky didn't jump either. Okay, <laughs> that worked. And now we can actually keep this going. We can actually move here somewhere deep and just jump on them on the first one who comes okay so Corky wants to push maybe he'll want to push another wave if he does so I'm just gonna jump on him right here and because I have my uh, and because I have my E and I proc'd it I had my W back again so you can see even someone with flash how easily you can get him down even <laughs> I have look at the gold I have guys I have so much gold, I could have killed him much faster. But even in this context, even in this context, I instantly burst, burst him and caught him, copped up to him because of the WE combo. Well, the EW combo, because you proc, you jump in, you proc, you, you cast the E, you proc the E, then you can jump in again because of that. Because the fact that you proc that E. And now we can also go for Phantom Dancer. Now, on mid, you're playing in ADC, basically, but having Phantom Dancer, having also maybe Mo or GA, this actually gives you so much survivability or a or some heal, like this item, like Blade of the Rent King. Having Blade of the Rent King, having Phantom Dancer, having maybe a Guardian Angel, you have so much safety nets. You might even get a stopwatch after that and for even more safety nets. Also, you can instantly farm this or the enemies. For that matter. You don't mind if I go away right here, right? Alright. So I'm gonna auto-attack. I'm gonna get this. Okay. And then we're going to start pinging this and word it. I wouldn't want to face check, but my Lux doesn't really put words, so... I'm gonna word here. They don't really have anything to one-shot me unless they hit a combo from... from the cane. And I want to get Red Trinket. Here you could get Red Trinket in this context. Because having Red Trinket would allow you to move freely towards this. And whenever you find someone, bam, jump on them, bam, get the kills. And let's clear this up. I'm gonna get it. Then I'm gonna move back. Then I'm gonna move towards this Ezreal. Because if he comes here, I'm seeing Vladimir on bot, I'm seeing Corky on mid. I can beat them 2 versus 1, by the way. I can do that. And I don't have any vision, but I can go freely towards this. Okay. 
it's gonna come here and I'm gonna pass it back to let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna pass him back and now we can freely get this and we could have maybe need or because they may be able to push us yeah never mind we have to back off back off because Lux into that Jesus the damage that Velkos has we had to back off because Lux even though Lux had flash why does Lux has an upgraded item and I don't I went here so that they didn't start it for some reason so I'm jumping here and then I'm going back to the tower I think they are free to take this tower if they feel like it but I see they don't so let's just pop these beauties okay I didn't lose anything I don't know why Orn does this because he knew he knew they are going to clap on him to to collapse on him right there and yeah he's pretty much dead right here and for phantom dancer i need 200 more gold but as i can see i can actually just go to the side and i wanted that cannon to finish <laughs> phantom dancer i can just go to the side and you can see my level that is uh, one of the highest in the game but vladimir does that what i do also nah i don't care about their power spike if i can just jump I can also kill that Vladimir pretty easily, but I want first to have Phantom Dancer, so I'm just gonna get these and then recall, because also I don't want to be surprised. Yeah, they also hit both power spikes, you should be careful here. And now with Phantom Dancer, no one, no one can 1 versus 1 you. Even if Vladimir hits everything on you, if you jump first, he doesn't have time to do so. Why is Lee Sin on top? He doesn't have 10 seconds to get there. Right, he doesn't he doesn't have time. Even if I go there, there is no time. This is on the other side of the map. Can you cast spells please? Okay, nice. Well apparently they didn't start it, and that's very bad for them. Alright. Okay, Corky stop. Corky stop. Go go go. Alright. Look at the damage, Jesus. Okay, we got that. We're just auto-attacking them to death. Don't really care much. And now we can just full combo this guy. Alright, and jump on this guy, and let's go. Easy win right there, I think. Yeah, Xenath is alive, nice. And now we can just push mid. I am dealing so much damage, also I get this item improved, I am dealing so much damage right now, it's quite stupid for them to... They can't really do much because I'm this fed and also we have Xerath with Mejai. Now, it's impossible if your ADC does this to actually keep it up and they didn't even focus me. I also have Frontline as Orn. It's not really much they can do to turn this game around. Let me just take some CS here. Okay, and now we can back off. I want this. As I said, even if I am behind in farm a bit, what matters is that I'm very, very, very ahead in gold in other ways. And I want this. Look, look at that. Are you seeing this first? I got the assist. I got the assist. Alright, maybe move towards the, the this guy, alright, and then towards this guy, and we're smurfing, <laughs> alright, so that's about it the game guys, I really hope you enjoyed the Tristana mid tutorial, and see you next time guys, yeah this is why I don't like having the chat on they, they didn't flame this game, but whenever I see someone, either in my team or their team, just flaming someone else, regardless, I'm just getting very triggered, and I just drop the chat, I put it back down, because it's, it kind of agitates stuff, and it makes it ruins your concentration. 
I do this. I just I just open the settings and then I click on that thing, uh, disable all chat, disable local chat, and I just talk by pings. And I'm trying to do so every time because League of Legends is a very toxic thing, and I tried over the years to not get affected by this. So I I found this kind of solution. So we, I advise for you to try it, especially if you find yourself typing in games, especially if. If you're playing customs with friends, that's fine, because it's fun. Or even in tournaments, because generally there is a more mild thing. But you should be careful around this, because you shouldn't let your mind be affected by someone else's thoughts. And if someone else is trolls, then you shouldn't type to him anyway, because that just makes things worse. So this is my tutorial and life lesson for Tristana. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and see you next time. Goodbye.